Good morning, modern status. Temperature's 33 degrees out. I wonder if we got a frost last night. Easiest way to tell is, nope. Ah, a little bit of ice. And the higher up on the windshield we go, the more ice there is. Down here, it's all wet still. Ha, huh, interesting. If you know why part of the windshield got a frost and the other part didn't, let me know. What a science. The pigs are waiting for us, y'all. Good morning, pigs. <laughs> you can see the steam coming off where they were just lying. I don't know if you can see it on camera or not. It's so much warmer in the milking room than it is outside. Good morning, Hope. getting asked quite a bit what our plans are with the goats so we're raising dwarf Nigerian goats Go goats goats they are dairy goats our plan is we want to grow the dairy herd for milking so for our own personal consumption and we also want to stop making goats milk soap that's like the overarching bigger plan with the goats <laughs> I need to get some thermometers to put out here. One in the milking room, one in the barn stalls, and then one outside so we can see what the temperature differences are. It's got to be at least 10 degrees warmer in the milking room. We don't have any heat out here, so it's just from the insulation. But man, does it make a huge difference. We'll be breeding our goats towards the end of November, beginning of December. Willow last year was bred in December and we had our goats right at the perfect time. We don't want to have them too early. Having them here too early, it's still cold, yucky, and wet. All right, Tootie. There you go. She goes. Oh, good morning. Good morning. So soft, like a blanket. Lost some in Buttercup. Come on, let's go outside. Ah, we got some more firewood to put away. Come on, guys. Morning, chickens. You liking that new automatic door? Huh? This area under the apple tree was very mossy and very weedy. So we're getting the chickens to come in here and we want them to scratch it down and peck it through and get it down almost to bare dirt. We're doing this intentionally so that way we can get the old nasty stuff up and get it prepped and ready for good grass to grow back. We're letting the animals do the work for us. The old compost pile is steaming pretty good this morning. We got all the animals in here. Figaro, Tanner, the goats. And there's Pluto. We got a whole lot of different projects going on. Right now we need to clean up the workshop. Now I want to get our post and beans, get them an old aged patina look to them, using some liquid iron. And then we can start on siding the inside of our workshop. We got a few other things that we're going to be working on in between, but once we get the workshop all done inside, we can start wiring it up, getting lighting in here, getting lighting in the milking room, the barn, get a little bit of heat going on in here, then we can start on some good projects. We got a bunch of things in mind that we want to start doing, So first we got to get everything finished. We're trying to figure out the timing of everything. 
There's a lot going on this time of the year in the homestead. I want to finish this up. Winter's coming. We're trying to get our firewood in the new firewood shed. Pig harvesting's coming up. Lots going on, guys. Lots. So we're trying to balance everything and get everything to work. And so far, we've been doing an awesome job. And I hope you guys have been enjoying the videos. We need a new front door. We're trying to make a nice custom looking front door from one of the lesser inexpensive ones at Home Depot. So, I got a trick or two up my sleeves with this. If you want to see that video, leave it in the comments down below. If not, we'll do it off camera. I just love creating and building stuff, guys. It's in my DNA, it's what I do. It brings me a lot of joy. Oh, oops, you guys weren't supposed to see this yet. Oh, I get in trouble when I go to Lowe's and they have big toy sales. Oh. This is gonna be in another video too, guys. We needed it. We did, I'm telling you, we needed it. That's what I told Gina too. So to patina our wood, we're gonna be using liquid iron. I got this off of Amazon. I'll put a link in the video description down below. We did it full strength on a piece of hemlock, which is what our post and beams are made out of. And this is how dark it is. We wanna go a little bit lighter, so we're gonna dilute it. In the milking room, we used it on our two by fours with a 50-50 solution. And this is white wood. So it's gonna look differently, but I really like this gray. So it was one part liquid iron into one pot water. So we're gonna go with about two thirds liquid iron to one third water. You got a two gallon bucket right here. I believe this is a two gallon bucket. Yeah, two gallons. Pour in a little bit of liquid iron. Now you could make up your own solution using steel wool and vinegar, but you just want to make sure you mix up enough at once so you get the same coloring all the way through. This liquid iron is what people spray on their lawns to get them green. For correction and prevention of foliage yellowing due to iron deficiency of flowers, shrubs, trees, vegetables, and lawns. So let's see, does it tell you what it's made out of? No. I don't know how they make the liquid iron. If you know, leave it in the comments down below. And we'll add in the rest of the water. Splishity splash, ooh, that'll stain. Perfect. Here we go. That'll be a good mixing stick. This is part of the two by four, so this is white wood. So that's white wood. Let that dry. Warmer in here than it is outside, isn't it? So nice. Be curious to see what it's like in here with a little bit of heat. So chilly. All right, let's get the door closed. I did remember to take before pictures so we know what it looks like before and after. I know, we never do that, but I did today. 
And the more your rag gets used and gets stamped, the better it'll work. Yeah. And, until then, it's a pain in the butt, but it will get there. This reminds me of putting tongue oil in all the walls of the house. What a pain. At least we don't gotta do the ceilings. Tedious job, but it'll be worth it in the long run. Gonna look so nice. Should have used hot water when I mixed up the concoction. Huh? I should have used warm water when I mixed it all up. looking so good already. Look at this beam, Gina. Yeah, awesome. yeah look at yours. That's awesome. It's fast. It is changing fast. Beautiful. It's gonna look so nice. Oh yeah, looking so good, so good. <clears throat> Curious to see what it looks like when it dries. Need to clean up a few spots so the liquid iron will absorb and make its color change. Get some of our spray foam off. That's looking so good over there when I turn around and go and see the top and the bottom done. Oh, Don't fall. That's good. Yeah, looks really good. I like it.
Need some more, need some more. It's actually not too bad. It's only the second time I filled up and I'm only getting half a cup at a time. The ladders are gonna be in my way. Let's see if we can do it without making too much of a mess. the last little bit. Trying to keep the staging under it so if anything drips, it drips on the staging and not on the floor. How's it look? Yeah. Like it? Cool. That didn't take that long, really. They're waiting for you, Livies. Yeah. They're pacing. I said, she's late. Where's our snack? <coughs> nope. And they touched the fence. You gotta be patient and wait. Ah! Yeah, that didn't work. Oh, it's still growing pretty even though I ran it over. What do you think the barn looks like since the post are dried? Do you think it's different? Yeah, it's gonna change as it dries. Let's go see. Can you see? Yeah. It's gray. Yeah, I figured it would look more gray after it dried. That's the color you wanted, right? More gray? Yeah. It's still wet here. So tomorrow we'll really be able to tell. That's still wet and where it's drying, it's more gray. Like that's dry. That looks nice. Yeah, that's gonna look really nice. Like that's looking gray. Where we had the strapping to secure it is still showing up. And then Livy's, where's the board? Where'd I put it? What? This is what it's got, the contrast. Ready? Mm -hmm. That'll look nice, huh? Uh -huh. Cool beans. Ready to go count some eggs? Yeah. How many you think? Mm, 16. I'm gonna say mm, 18. Come on. Then the goats will come out. Yeah. I said, then the goats are gonna come oh, out. Look at that. <laughs> oh. Dinner. You can't take it back in. Oh, I don't like doing that. No, can I stay right there? And the what are you doing, Hope?
Did you rescue the duck? Willow wants your chicken grain, so throw it in. They're, they're after for a little bit though. Stop. Tanner. Tanner. So. They're like, ooh, let me see how close I can get to him. And then he goes closer and they run. Look at little man. Little man's like hopping by him. Well, it's like, this is my pasture. So I said 16, Mom said 17, you said 18. Yep. No changing. Here comes Hope. Hope, it's up! Well, you might have been pretty uh, daring today. So their pasture, they're saying. Curious what will happen when we get snow out in the pasture. I hope they roam still. What are them dogs doing, Magnolia? Huh, you keeping an eye on them? They'll get it one day. Yeah, they'll probably get it. Oh, Tanner and Hope. Can I not be down this hole? <laughs> you might get the headbutt instead <laughs> by accident. You gotta do her good. I was the closest. Thirteen. Thirteen. They're holding out on you. Slacking. Ah, oh, looks like this barred rock is starting to molt. Where? This one right here, she's getting really gray and losing the really gray feathers. Oh, yeah. And then the new feathers are starting to come in already. <laughs> what was that hope? <laughs> Something. I could see her out of the back of my eye. You want some eggs? They all got their hairs up. But they're not stopping. Nope. Hey, I need those eggs. I can't wait to see how the post and beams look tomorrow. That liquid iron isn't completely dry yet, but the more it's drying, it's getting that aged, like gray weathered look to it. Oh, I can't wait to see how it's gonna all turn out. And then we're gonna be putting some shiplap boards <clears throat> recessed behind the post and beams a little bit. So there'll be a really big color difference there and that's gonna look nice. I'm excited to see it all done. The plans for the goats, like I was saying, is for milking so we can have milk and then to make soap. So the workshop's gonna be for doing all kinds of different projects from mechanical work to woodworking to making soap in it. It's just gonna be a multi-purpose workshop and we can raise animals in it when we need to. We're gonna be able to do so many different things. So that's why we're, we're going about doing it the way we're doing it because we're not gonna be using it just for one thing. So thanks for coming along on our journey with us, guys. I read a quote today. Let me find it for you. It says, dwell in the possibility. If you're like me, I used to always dwell in the negativity, in the why not. And that's the wrong way to look at everything. Let's switch that around 
and believe in what can go right and not what can go wrong. We start thinking that way we can change our world, we can change our world, we can change the greater world. Just think of what we can do. That's what I'm going to be focusing on from now on. Thanks for coming along on our journey with us, guys. Let me know what you think about that comment. After you think about it for a minute. And <laughs> we'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.